I'll show you how to fix a slave cylinder on a BMW. When you look at the clutch pedal, there's no pressure at all on there's this There's no thing. brake fluid on the floor, so that's gonna suggest that the master cylinder up there is okay. Look at the slave cylinder underneath the car. Here on the bell housing is the slave cylinder. You'll take the two nuts off and remove the slave cylinder. You can see the hydraulic fluid is just dripping out of this thing. This is gonna have to be replaced and then re-bleed it. It gets its fluid from the master brake cylinder. We need dot four brake fluid? Not dot three, but dot four. The new slave cylinder will cost about 40 bucks. We'll compare the new one with the old one and they look the same. To break the hydraulic hose loose, I like to use a vice grip like this. I find this configuration works better than any wrench I've used. It'll fit nice and tight on the bolt. I use the pipe wrench to hold everything steady. Remove the fitting. Remove the slave cylinder. Thread the fitting back into the new one. Snug up everything tight. Next, we'll bleed it. I'll hold it up against the transmission and I'll push everything in. I'll show you how I'm gonna bleed it on the old one. We'll open up the bleed valve, push the cylinder down. Once it's locked, we'll close it back up. We'll place the slave cylinder back into the housing. We'll pump some fluid in from the top. This little tube here needs to come Work off. the hose off. We'll push dot four brake fluid down the tube. Fill up the syringe. Start to push the fluid down as you pump. You can see the air bubbles coming back at you. Keep pumping the pedal. Keep pushing in the fluid. We'll keep adding it in as we push the clutch in and out. And just let the air keep kicking back through. Keep pushing that clutch in and out. Keep putting the fluid in. Let the air out. We're starting to feel something on the clutch pedal now. We'll keep adding it in. Keep pumping the clutch. Keep putting a little pressure. Release, let the air out. Push, release, let the air out. You can see all that bleeding is happening from the top. Now we're really starting to feel some pressure on the pedal. Just keep bleeding that air out. Let's see an air come out now. now. We can feel quite a bit of resistance. As we continue, I'm starting to see air. We'll just keep it working it through. Press the clutch in about a couple hundred times and I'm seeing less air. Keep the pedal moving and just keep moving this back and forth. Underneath, we'll tighten up all the bolts. It's actually bringing up some of the old dirty fluid as well as some air. Not seeing any air, so we can put everything put back. back into place. With the slave cylinder replaced, everything works good.